A commercial airliner leaves for Honolulu, Hawaii from Incheon, South Korea. The flight's passengers are held hostage by Jin Sok, Yim Si Wan. A disgruntled biologist who unleashes a deadly homemade virus just due to the fact, it seems like amusing. That's the fundamental phrase fictional setup of the pathetic Korean disaster percentage. Emergency statement, a lumbering and decided ode to our no longer unusual humanity that still attempts to scare and thrill viewers into submission. Author, director Han J. Rim's hostage mystery isn't primarily based on real sports, however. It's nonetheless supplied with the queasy shape of naturalism that brings to thoughts Paul Greengrass, United 93, masses of handheld photographs, a half-gloomy, half of hazy color palette, and manner an excessive amount of dead air. The casting of three marquee-topping Korean stars, Jeon Du Yian, Lee Byung Hun, and Toon Kong Ho, additionally tips on the movie's pandering nature as an experience amazing tragedy about an actual disaster. The handiest thing regular approximately emergency statement is how hard Han, rules of relationship, and his collaborators try to work over viewers. Mainly through the manner of the movie's Brahm heavy, Hans Zimmer style score, and its heartstring yanking plot contrivances. The movie's development may also have begun in 2019, but its mid-pandemic production and release nonetheless make its hokey celebratory narrative appear premature and now and then offensive. Almost the whole lot in emergency assertion appears calculated for maximum impact, from its prone scare methods to its unconvincing you are their aesthetic. First, the movie trails after sweaty detective in Ho, music, as he chases after Jin Sok and attempts to prevent his murderous plot. The emotional stakes are clean however in the long-run immaterial. In Ho's partner, Wu Mi Wa, is on Sky Korea flight K-1501, and so are numerous narratively vital, however in any other case undeveloped assisting characters. Such as co-pilot Yun Su, Kim Nam Gil, and flight attendant He Jin, Kim Sa Jin. Some organizing scenes half of of heartedly set up how many of various people on board flight K-1501, however. The first 40 or so minutes of emergency declaration on the whole trouble of the psychopathic Jin Sok. First, we see Jin Sok harass and curse out a meek Sky Korea worker, who refuses to tell him what number of people are flying to Hawaii. Then we comply with Jin Sok as he stumbles into worried father Jae Hyuk, Lee, and peppers him with awkward questions about his shy young daughter Su Min, Kim Bo Min, who suffers from bad eczema. Whilst Jin Sok's no longer liberating a lethal virus in a plain bathroom, he's answering questions with questions and commonly needling anybody who's off-placed with the aid of his creepy behavior. Outside the plane, in Ho discovers that Jin Sok used to torture animals for satisfaction, and experimented on lab mice to create a homemade plague that could mutate and spread amongst humans right away. Inside the aircraft, a sweaty Jin Sok explains to his patients that he attacked them due to the fact there's no manner for an Enterprise flight's passengers to get away after they're airborne. Jin Sok's backstory is so florid and his communication is so intensely unpleasant that you nearly forget that emergency announcement is also vaguely worried about the triumph of the human spirit. The flight's crew participants and passengers combat lower back panic while they plan a route of movement with calm, noble public officials, mainly delivery minister Suk Hee, Jae-on. However moreover in Ho and his fellow law enforcement officials, those essential protagonists don't have personalities beyond no matter the scene demands of them. Whether or now not it's plotting an emergency landing in Sungmu or swapping out one in-flight meal for every other. He Jin, Jae Hyuk, and Suk Hee all unavoidably assert themselves, but their heroic moves are often really as hammy and improbable as Jin Sok's cartoonish villainy. At one point, Lee's character can provide a flowery, lengthy-winded speech that explains why he 
appearing on his fellow passengers' behalf, has selflessly selected to take evasive moves. Jay Hyuk's causes sound as pompous and self-righteous because of the worst Oscar recognition speech. Particularly when he explains that, because we are human, there are things that handiest we can do. Now we intend to decide for each person's sake. A few canned reaction snapshots suggest that Jay Hyuk's fellow passengers have already resigned themselves to their future when you consider that they, too, are passively paying attention to Lee. In every other key scene, K-1501's passengers use their wireless-enabled telephones to reassure their loved ones and clear up their unfinished industrial company. Those fragmentary, pseudo-banal exchanges are not most effective emotionally stillborn but also visually stifling considering they're supplied as a chain of body inner frame video chat calls. We look up at tear-stained and lens-distorted faces and deal with mockish conversations about grandma's cooking, I'm sorry for saying your food tasted terrible, and wet day financial savings. At the back of there, I concealed a little money. Purchased some chocolates. After a few overheated exchanges, the digital camera's visual view blinks out of lifestyle after the humans on show are reduced to a smaller body within the body. Then the following scene starts off evolved because aircraft has to return to Earth in a few ways, within the name of humanity and with the aid of any way critical.